Hi guys, welcome back and welcome to the week 5 of Kukuri 10. It's all about cereals and starches. Did you know cereals is any grain or starchy pod that is used as food? The most cultivated cereals in the world are rice, wheat, and corn. On the other hand, starches exist as the main component of cereals and tubers, for it plays an apparent role in order to achieve the desired viscosity in different food products, like sauces, pie fillings, gravies, and pudding. As the second most abundant organic substance on earth, starch is found in all forms of living green plants located in the roots, fruits, or grains, and source of up to 80% of calories worldwide. Trivia, seeds, roots, and tubers are the parts of the plants where starches are mostly stored. Let's learn all about starches. First, starches are used as thickeners in recipes. There are also varieties of starches suitable for different allergies and diets. And lastly, the most common type of starch is cornstarch. The most common source of food starch are cereal grains such as corn, wheat, rice, grains, sorghum, and oats. In addition, we can also get in legumes such as black-eyed peas, chickpeas, beans, and lentils. We can also get starches from the roots or tubers such as potato, sweet potato, arrow root, and tropical cassava plant which is marketed as tapioca. Corn, potato, and tapioca cassava are the most common source of manufactured food starch. Food starches depend on its source and these are native or natural starch, modified starches, purified starches, and waxy starches. What is a native starch? It is originally derived from its plant source and it is made up of two molecules. Here are the molecules of native starch. Amylose that contributes gelling or gelatization characteristics to cook and cold starch mixtures. Amylopectin. Amylopectin contributes to the cohesion of the food. Lastly, the viscosity or thickening properties when the starch mixture is cooked in the presence of water. We are done discussing the native starch. Let's move now to the modified starch. These are starches that have been altered physically or chemically to modify one or more of its key chemicals and or physical properties. Here is the purified starch, maybe separated from grains and sugars by a process called wet milling. This procedure employs various techniques of grinding, screening, and centrifuging to separate the starch from fiber, oil, and protein. Lastly, the waxy starch, derived from natural strains of barley, corn, rice, and sorghum. There is an absence of amylose, so that it makes it less thick and do not produce gel-forming properties. So, the quality characteristics of the starch itself depend upon which role or function it will be used. Starches like potato starch and modified starch are added to processed meats and will produce hot dogs, sausages, luncheon meats, frankfurters, hamburgers, ham, and meat loops. As a good source of carbohydrates, it is also used in the food and baking industry. Did you know that cereals 
comes from any grains are very valuable and can contribute a great deal to our health. Cereal processed foods that can be included in our daily food serving are whole grain cereals, which contains natural proportion of bran, germ, and antisperm. By the way, the bran, germ, and antisperm are the parts of a cereal. Enriched cereals that are excellent source of thiamine, niacin, riboflavin, and iron. The restored cereal that is made from either the entire grain or portion of one or more grains to which there have been added sufficient amount of thiamine, and niacin, and iron to attain the accepted full grain bonus of this found in the original grain from which the cereal is prepared. Did you know that noodles and pasta is an example of starchy foods, which is basically has its physiological function that depends on its starch and other constituents. It may contain other fibers and some proteins and fats as well. Dried noodles and pasta used are in preparing starch and cereal dishes are macaroni, miki, spaghetti, chicken mami, pancit canton, linguini, bihon, lasagna, sotangon, and miswa. So that's it and I hope that you learned something today. Thank you for watching! Disclaimer, the content of this video was written by Fortuna Kalisir from SDO of Kalaokan Module 5, Week 5. And the photos came from different websites and the internet. But I just recorded for my convenience in discussing the Week 5 of the module. Thank you!